Hey everyone, uh, Peter Rozell here. I'm going to show you today how to use Aura Mastery. Uh, Aura Mastery is a add-on in Wildstar uh, that allows you to track your cooldowns or other e events in the game and will uh, either display a icon or play a sound or both, depending on what you decide to do with that event. So the first thing I'll show you here is my mending probe. So I have a little icon right here. So it looks just like mending probe's icon. As soon as I use it, you can see it, it goes on cooldown. Um, and then that way I can have this up closer to my, you know, the action up here without cluttering my interface. Um, as you can see, I don't make it play a noise right now. So the first thing you do, you slash AM to pull up the menu. Um, there's the simple. UI for Aura Mastery, which will get you going for the cooldowns, buffs, and debuffs. Um, otherwise, there's the advanced one as well. I'll go over the uh, simple right now, um, get a little bit into the advanced. Um, but really, if you want to do something extremely advanced, you're probably going to want to look on the uh, on the actual Aura Mastery uh, GitHub, which has a lot of really good guides for advanced tutorials and stuff like that. So. We went ahead and made the memory probe, so let's go ahead and make another one. Um, how about for recharge? This is just going to be another simple cooldown one, so you just click add down here. Decide what you want, it's going to be a cooldown. And then in the filter here, just go ahead and start typing your ability name. And then go ahead and click here. And I typically like to use the spell icon that it is, so otherwise you can do something else. Um, over here on the right side is where you um, decide what kind of noise it makes. So you can see some of them. Added. There you go. Mission unlocked. Some of them make noises. Some of them don't or don't make audible sounds. So I'll use the the data chrome incoming, and then you can make it so it's only in combat, or you can make it so it's whenever. You can also enable or disable it here. Um, so you can also scale the button. If you want it really big, if you want it the normal size, which is point or 1.0. Uh, then go ahead and hit save. Once you got that going, you look now, it's right smack dab in the middle. Um, if you want to move that, you have to uh, click this little lock icon here. And you can move this around wherever you want. You can go back in here and scale it really big, cover the whole screen, you can make it real small. And do it, do what you want, depending on how important the ability is. Um, then you lock it back into place. Um, I can also change the icons on the fly. So, like I could make it the lightning bolt, for example. And then, as soon as I use the ability, Let's see the lightning bolt also has the text underneath that the spell icon won't do that so um and that's where you can get into a little bit of the advanced stuff which i'll show you real quick so you can do the same thing with buffs or debuffs um whether or not the player has the buff or your target has the buff or same thing with debuff if the player you have the debuff or the target has the debuff you can uh search obviously through here for all the different stuff so um going into advanced mode now so let's add a new one real quick click on advanced mode once you go into advanced mode you can't go back to simple mode um with that specific um aura mastery event so you have to remove it and then add a new one to get back into simple mode so anyways here's where you can uh Here's your basic stuff right here. So this is pretty much the same stuff on simple, just a little different GUI, the name of it, the scale, yada yada. Your triggers here, the triggers are the most important part. So you add a trigger, it could be, um, as you can see with triggers, you get more than just the cooldown, buff and debuff, you also get on critical, on deflect, resources. So let's say I went to debuff, uh, you put the debuff name right in here. So let's say you made a simple one and the debuff wasn't listed. Well, now you can just list it here. Um, so, you know, and then you could do how many stacks of the debuff. So you can click on stacks. You could say 
stacks is equal to one or five. Or you could do, you know, greater than or equal to five. It means five or anything above. So that's a way to do that. There's additional trigger effects like icon color, flash, activation border. Just mess around with that kind of stuff. Um, the appearance here obviously is just going to be your uh, the, the icon. You can choose what you want the color to be and what you want the cooldown or whatever overlay to be um, for when this trigger is either pass or fail. Um, then, oh, it's another thing right here. Your behavior is pass, fail, or ignore. Um, so let's say I wanted to know whenever the debuff was not on it, so then I would say debuff fail. So it failed to have the debuff on target or whatever. Um, I see the player target right here. So that's how you would do that, make it opposite. So that's a little bit more into why advanced is a little bit better. Um, so appearance, and then you have your text here. See, this is where you have to go on the website and kind of look at what the hell all this stuff means. But um, here you can see, like here you see this little box here, this is your icon. The circles here, depending on where you're putting it, and then the charges, uh, see how they're in little squirrely brackets here? That means that it's a variable, so charges would be like, uh, I have four charges here, or stacks would be how many cooldown or debuff stacks are on the target. Um, time would be the cooldown, time remaining, stuff like that. So you can change the color, but you can change where the location is. Um, so that's the, the best way to do that. You can add more right here. You can remove existing ones, put a little X up there. So this is kind of the, the basic overview of how to create stuff with an aura mastery. If you want to, let's say you find someone's aura mastery script on the actual website or somewhere and then linked it. To get that, you just copy the whole thing and you hit import. Um, well you should just feel hit import. But, oh, sorry, you just copy it and then you hit import and then whatever it, um, whatever's in your clipboard, whatever you copied from the website will automatically get put in there. And will it work after you actually hit import then you paste it in a little text box. To export it, you click export you know, copy it immediately to your clipboard and you can paste it into the forms if you want to share it with somebody else. Um, otherwise, if two people have the same version of War Master, you can click share right here and then type in the player's name and then uh, send the player. And you can also allow share requests. Um, they have to have it in there and then obviously if you want to take somebody else's, you'd have to click this on to make it happen um, to turn that function of War Mastery on. So, um, that should be, it should cover everything. Um, if you guys need to know where to go um, for the actual, the website, it is, I'll show you here. It's just uh, github.com slash james226 slash aura dash mastery slash wiki. And then uh, all these links on the right, some of them are, uh, they're not there yet. Some like this one, it's, you know, to be created. So some of them are here, some of them aren't. That's, that would be your resource though to go to um, to get that going, to help you a little bit more with that advanced stuff to figure out all the syntax of the add-on. So I hope this helped. Um, have a good one.